Hi everyone. Welcome to Peep Oi. Today we are discussing this subject which is one of the favorite subjects on social media and news channels uh, in the month of November 2016 in India. Demonetization. Now, one of the problems with this subject is that uh, there are two different school of thoughts. One school of thought says that it's a great weapon against corruption, tax evasion and black money. And another school of thought is that uh, it is actually not very very good uh, it has not been implemented well it will only affect only the small part of uh, the problem in the country but the problem is that we only get to see the popular thoughts and those popular thoughts are influenced by the political affiliations the fanship or some kind of a personal bias and the problem is that in spite of we being the educated youth we don't see all the perspectives now in a growing nation where there is so much of youth which is educated the ideal way to really discuss these kind of subjects should be that you look at every perspective all the pros and all the cons we don't if if i've got a leader or if i've got a role model like mr narin modi he's our pm and great respect for him and uh, you know he's leading our country but i cannot just say yes and be with him on each and everything that he does these prime ministers these mlas you know these mps all of them are public servants and we the citizens of this country have chosen them to do something now they are not like shahrukh khan or salman khan or amitabh bachchan who you know we go and get the autograph from because we are their fans there is no need to be fans of a particular person because what happens is sometimes in that fanship we will say something uh, you know when they say something you always support it without even thinking about what are the what are the consequences now likewise i'm not talking about mr narendra modi only let me talk about mr arvind kejriwal so there are so many volunteers who just talk rubbish and say rubbish on internet because arvind kejriwal said that and now they are having you know we are all having different debates so why i'm talking about this background and context is because it's very very important because we'll talk about some pros and cons and i really want you to have your mind really open to listen to all these pros and cons without being biased to a particular political affiliation or your role model okay so today we'll just break it down being the responsible educated youth we'll break it down and let's discuss other perspectives what is wrong what is good there are always merits and demerits of anything which is done nothing is perfect so let's see what are merits and demerits and really is demonetization the correct uh, policy to curb the black money has it been implemented well what could have been done what could have been a better way to handle this so let's discuss all of that now first let's uncover the hidden now uh, with many 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 popular topics which are going you know doing rounds and rounds on social media and news channel space let's first understand what is demonetization and what exactly has been implemented then we'll discuss the pros and cons so what has happened simply is that old notes of 500 rupees and 1000 rupees are no more a legal tender they are not valid so you have to of course get them deposited and get the fresh notes uh, which are fresh 2000 note or 100 rupee notes or the new note of 500 has also now come in so that is what you need to do now we say that it will end corruption it will end tax evasion it will end black money now we'll take everything one by one but first i would talk about the best thing which i think this move has done now if you really see this video here the link is there i've talked about what is the best benefit of this move and kudos to central government for doing that because this video will tell you that the terrorism which happens in india it will be temporarily really get a big hit because there is such a big industry in our neighboring countries which actually are promoted that they promote terrorism because of the fake currency which is printed now they will get a temporary hit so that's great so terrorism is something which will definitely get re- reduced for a temporary period of time so that's advantage number 1 that's a biggest pros but let's talk about 
how does this particular policy leads to reduction in corruption now if i tomorrow i'm driving very very fast on the road earlier i used to give 100 rupees or a 500 rupees or a 1000 rupees now i'll give 2000 rupees if i am going to get my license earlier i was paying 500 rupees now i'll give 2000 rupees or i'll give 5 500 notes or a new 500 rupees so how did impact, impact uh, how did it impact corruption now one of the arguments which was there earlier was that if you take away the bigger denominations like 500 and 1000 people who really pay you know in attaches or in brief cases they will have to really buy trucks and send trucks of money but with the introduction of 2000 rupees even that cannot be done so corruption is definitely corruption cannot be solved by this demonetization or making the old 500 rupees and 1000 rupees note invalid so corruption is totally out let's not talk about corruption uh, the problem of corruption will be solved by this let's not talk about tax evasion many people are saying that tax evasion will be reduced let's discuss how now many corporate people pay tax the tds gets deducted now also tds will get deducted there are lot of people who invest in real estate now hum sab dekhte hain kachcha pakka you know we all talk about our fathers our mamas chachas uncles aunties everybody whenever there is a transition of real estate estate into consideration we always talk about kachcha and pakka what is kachcha and what is pakka kachcha is the black money which is number 2 pakka is white money which is number 1 in every real estate transaction there is an amount which is given in kachcha or which is number 2 which is black money why because you want to save the tax which you have to pay for the registration or in other way or many people want to basically don't want to show that sales tax also so they would save lot of money by keeping it hidden from the income tax authorities or sales tax authorities so you save that money through the exchange of black money and that's a need of the seller at times sometimes for the buyer and there is a very good understanding and everybody knows that so when we talk about desh drohi so many people you know whenever there is something which people talk about against a particular popular policy or by a popular government yaar ye to desh drohi hai ye to aisi baatein karta hai kitna acha move hai and you go, don't want to cooperate you just have to talk about garbage about anything which this government does that's my urge is to you guys in this video we are not doing that and then this channel we don't do we just uncover the hidden and my plea to you is that just open your mind don't reach to conclusion when i'm saying all this just be with me because i am actually breaking everything one by one so so i was talking about tax evasion coming back to what we were discussing now real estate transactions happen like this in kacha pakka and you know we talk about many a times that whenever there is something which is done ki ye desh drohi hai i was talking about that now actual desh drohi actual terrorist in this nation is the one who is doing this kacha pakka transactions which are our family our relatives our friends and we ourselves i'm not talking about you you might be really genuine person that's why you watching this video till this far okay and that's why this subscribe button is coming up for you to uh, click and you know subscribe to this channel but coming back seriously on a serious note so sabse bada desh drohi the biggest terrorist in this nation is the one who is actually dealing these kind of transactions and that is where biggest tax evasion happens now with this 2000 rupee note do you think this black money or this let's not talk about black money right now this tax evasion will not happen this real estate transaction will still not happen it will now i'll get 2000 rupees i'll still save i'll give cash i'll exchange cash right i've not made the cashless economy yet i will reduce 2000 rupees note i've just banned old notes of 500 and 1000 rupees that's it we'll talk about what is the bigger game play later but first we understand now that tax evasion also cannot be reduced through the demonetization now let's come to the favorite topic of all of us black money and that is the that is the basic disguise that is happening at this point of time so if you ask me you might be thinking till now that this guy will now say black money will also not reduce no black money will reduce guys 
black money will definitely reduce but not to that extent that we're thinking and if you will discover in this video when you see till the end you will discover that the kind of impact on black money there is it's mind boggling we will talk about it let me first break it down further now now let's understand why it will be a sm- what degree of impact and why it would be that so as you know india has a population of about 121 crores now my figures could be here and there by 1 or 2 crores or 5 crores here and there i am talking about the data of 2012 india has a population of 121 crores out of which about 83 crores live in rural areas rural areas in villages and about 40 crores lives in 41 crores lives in urban areas so now one fact is clear that there is a big divide in terms of urban and rural and we know there is a big difference between these two in terms of education in terms of literacy in terms of poverty in terms of employment in terms of uh, infrastructure development so we have to discuss these two segments and the impact of demonetization and curbing of black money in these two segments separately we'll join them together later on but let's break it down into these two segments of rural and urban first let's talk about uh, uh, rural what exactly happens now another fact data fact that i would want to give you is that in india there are about 22% people which are below poverty line now if you want to see the poverty line index and what is the definition of poverty line you can see this link which is there on this uh, uh, annotation that you can see right now now 22% people are below poverty line and about 80% in of the rural population 80% of 80 crores is below poverty line guys 80% so 22% if we say it's below poverty line if we take 80 to 40 ratio of that 22% then you can imagine how many people so the 20% of that 80 crores is below poverty line let's take it like that so you can imagine how many of those are about near about 16 to 20 crores people are below poverty line now these people don't have plastic money they only have cash and they maybe don't have cash i'm sorry but they have exigencies they need money who is controlling the money in these villages zamindars thekedars seeds lalas that's where the black money is but what happens as a big trend now in all the cities that all this black money is normally getting invested by these zamindars why they are called zamindars because they are zamindars they are the land owners whatever black money comes they actually buy land or they invest or they send their children to canada they uh, buy j- jaguars they buy ferraris you would have seen that in many rural areas now that's a trend the popular trend yeah now imagine when the demonetization happens when 500 rupees and 1000 rupees note is not valid if there is any exigency when the person has to go to a bank or a atm how will it impact these guys who are below poverty line and who don't have plastic money who on, who, who can only use cash as you know for their daily needs they will have to go to you know that zamindar now zamindar would have be having the problems of cash by this time so he would already be in the deposit queue he would have told his guys to do that so it's a big problem thus in rural areas people would be having a big problem and as i said about 80% of these people in rural areas of that 80 crore anyways are lower class and 22% of them are below poverty line so they will cannot have black money and people who are having black money which is 20% of that 80 crores are zamindars and all they have invested that in the land or bought uh, cars for their children and their children have gone to canada and those kind of countries so the money has been adjusted quite well so how much black money would be there in these rural areas where 80 crore of population exists and how much 
this demonetization will impact that black money that's a thought which you need to basically think through now let's come to urban areas now in urban areas we are talking about 40 crores population and in urban areas and in overall india as well if you look at it the 75% wealth is held by 10% people 10 top richest people top 10% richest people and all of us who are professionals corporate guys or you know upper middle class higher class everybody uses plastic money nobody wants to keep cash in their wallet in the lockers everybody thinks it's a risk nobody keeps that anymore it's very easy to use net banking or wire transfers or plastic money to daily transactions who keeps the cash some uh, big guys do keep the cash because that is getting rotated but there are two things which happen to this big cash this big cash either gets invested in real estate again you purchase flats in uh, you know cities like gurgaon noida or the smart cities you invest in real estate you invest in gold you invest in stocks or you transfer that money outside in other banks so the people who have got big big bucks do do you think guys that they would keep that money in their godowns and even if they're keeping it it will be only getting migrated from one hand to another hand in real economical situation month by month but most of the chunk of black money would idly go out into the swiss banks now all the commissions you know political commissions or other commissions are paid in black money but this black money through hawala transactions or through many other measures goes to the swiss bank okay in terms of investments or whatever now money which is left in circulation like you know some uh, lala has 1 crore some lala has 5 crore some lala has 2 crores that is something which is circulated but now there is a big jugad in this particular scheme why that black money will also not get caught because when we say black money will get curbed either you are declaring it and now the tax would be levied on you or you are burning it there are also cases of burning which we have seen you can see the links in the uh, description of this video and there are also links you will see that there are deaths in the villages because they are standing in atm lines and there was exigency and they could not get the cash so those links are also there in the product description as well as the annotation might be there here just right now now coming back to the discussion of jugad so the jugad and the way out of this black money with these lalas who have 1 crore 5 crore 10 crore bigger guys have already invested the money so forget about them so 80% of the money 75% wealth 80% of the 75% is already invested outside or real estate or gold or stocks so forget about that let's talk about 20% of that 75% of wealth now that is 5 crore 1 crore 2 crore whatever now guys what's happening right now why there are big big lines which you know mr modi with due respect to mr modi never envisaged that there will be so much lines why because indians there is a book jugad you can find it again a link there in the description and maybe an annotation here jugad book has been written because indians know how to do jugad now with jugad what they have done is big big lalas they have given a chutti to their staff let's say there is a mill there is a factory there are 500 workers in that factory in automotive or you know copper cable or whatever and then those 500 people what they have uh, they they have gone to that atm to collect money or to deposit money on behalf of their lala because the pan card is being shown of the worker and he is depositing the money of lala and hence slowly and steadily this money is getting deposited which is black money getting turned into white so that's the jugad which is happening so again that black money doesn't get declared if the black money is getting declared the raid started happening on the very first day now that as soon as the raid started happening people started adopting these practices and this jugad came into the foreplay so now you can imagine how much black money is still left so ultimately it's a very little portion of black money which is getting curbed but yes that is getting reduced okay and people uh, temporarily would be like uh, you know not doing any kind of exchange temporarily in black money in in number 2 category now all of this is good now another 
big thing is about what should have been done now all this has been done and we have just talked about what is the impact on black money uh, reduction because of that now what should have been done and what could have been done and what was promised now this government and government before that congress bjp i'm not affiliated with anybody all governments let me talk all governments made promises one of the big promises which have been done is that they will get black money there is about list of 640 people which came in 2011 who have accounts in swiss bank and other banks i don't want to name those banks right now but there are a lot of those list of 640 people no investigation has happened till date now at the time of elections it was said that we will get black money from those banks and we'll disclose it and we'll get them behind the bars it's been a lot of time has passed away from last elections since the new government has come in but no people have got uh, arrested they have not been jailed in fact some people have flown away as we know people who you know work on the calendars every year and you know make people go drunk those people have moved away so no no disclosure has happened so the black money which should have come and the promises were made that we'll get the black money and we'll pay pay every uh, buddy 15000 rupees where you know a lot of claps were made and you know it was one of the big campaign statements it has not been done which could have been the biggest move because that is where 80% of their 75% wealth uh, created black money the black money created by 80% of the 75% wealth by those richest constitutes that that amount of black money is there outside india that uh, was promised that you know it will come in which would, would have been a big move and a simple thing nobody has to stand in a atm line for that right now we are standing in atm line many people think that you know this is a great thing for the nation we are doing and you know it's like we have become soldiers by standing in the line but imagine guys this small amount of that black money for which we are standing in those lines and it's great i respect that that we are standing in those lines but don't think that you're doing too much of nation because you know normally i have been taught at least if you can do 20% of effort to against the 80% of the problem if 20% of effort can result into solving the 80% problem that should be done not that you do 90% of effort and you're solving only 5 or 10% of problem that is what is happening with this sorry to say and i would love to get your comments in the thread but that is what is happening now the biggest point here is that there about 8 uh, 8 lakh crores amount is there in the assets which are non performing now big companies big guys top rich guys top brass they have taken this money from banks government banks private banks and then they have either transferred it or they have killed that money they have lost that money or whatever they don't want to pay it they have used it somewhere they have invested in real estate whatever outside india now that 8 lakh crore amount they said we can't give it so banks are telling the government what should we do now rich guys are saying we need the money so the government what has happened is that they came up with the scheme that this is what we need to do if the sim has to come out this is what we have to do okay and likewise i'm sure there would be many other things and this is contemplation i'm not concluding anything about from this 8 lakh crore 1 lakh 15 crores has already been paid waived off by the government and once this demonetization scheme was announced the seventh day guys the sbi wrote off about 6000 crores of these non performing assets immediately on the seventh day when people just just started depositing this money so there about estimated about 11 lakh crores of money will get deposited and 6000 crores was de- de- waived off by sbi in the day 7 itni jaldi kya thi what was so much what, what was uh, why there was so much of hurry and is that the reason why uh, this demonetization has happened because people are not standing in atm lines for these these things and we are very cute people we are very innocent people we think we are doing a lot for the nation and people in fanship are just going gaga about the move not even understanding it doesn't do anything to the corruption it doesn't do anything for tax evasion and does very little about the black money as well so guys these were some of the points 
which i wanted to speak about now i want to leave it leave the forum open to you i want to invite you know views opinions counters on this video in the form of this thread do like the video uh, and spread the message so that people don't waste their time in you know on social media talking so much about the greatness of this move but do understand that it's a good move in the right direction but does very little and there are other things like getting the money from the swiss banks and you know jailing the people who are corrupt that is what very solid steps have to be taken so that is what and and guys this is a great step in the direction i'm not saying that you know we should crib about everything but we should keep challenging our public servants they are public servants we should keep challenging them and if we do that guys i think we would be a great nation we are already a great nation will be much greater nation will be called will be called as developed country we are still a developing country it has taken a lot of time for us to come at the stage we can grow very well from here but only thing is we should not be a fan of a particular individual or a political party we should keep challenging whatever policy comes let's look at the pros and cons i have presented a lot of thoughts here so please feel free to challenge me don't abuse on this forum but keep challenging let's have a very very healthy debate and let's see what perspe- perspective is right do share a lot of links and media articles on this video thread as well if you want to and uh, uh, there is a poll that you'll see here uh, do attend that poll uh, i've asked for your views that after seeing this video what do you think is the uh, real real impact of black money and there could be other polls which i, I would be keep updating dynamically to get your views and make it visible to everyone so spread this message guys it's my uh, humble request spread this message if you th- really think there is some meat in what i've said right now and uh, uh, you know this is all live i have not prepared any script i have just shared what i feel are really objective points uh, under the garb of what what is going on right now and do subscribe guys here is a subscribe link that you'll see this logo is all about uncovering the hidden finding the black and the white is what this logo is all about guys subscribe to this we keep sharing the events and the reactions on that and the opinions uh, and the 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 only motto the single motto of this channel is to uncover the hidden and of course with some entertainment because i am also a singer i am also very opinionated so there'll be a lot of stuff that i do bike rides i do i do bodybuilding i travel so there'll be a lot of other stuff that you'll find on the channel but you know the major objective the main objective of this channel is to uh, uncover the hidden and i want your help uh on that so subscribe and share this and uh, i i really wish you a healthy life and i think i i hope your day uh, from here on uh, uh, goes very very well and you find a lot of happiness uh, uh, today so god bless and have a great day cheers